successful bid to muffle the sounds of our family's discontent and prevent an exposure of his illegitimacy, and to further perpetuate his fraud of misrepresentation, <coughs> he initiated a suit at the Land Division of the High Court on the 30th of June 2023 with suit number LD0512-2023 against our family represented by our family head, Neil Louis Paul II. This suit, initiated in 2023, was an unsuccessful attempt then to prevent our family from having our customary rights as landlords pre performed by other legitimate Fulani families that founded NIMA, like the Mulai Abi Jalu, Gimbala, and Wangara families. In that suit, they demanded <coughs> the following reliefs, and I quote, A. A declaration that the plaintiff is the sole and rightful person the defendant can deal with in respect of NIMA lands and the performance of the customary rights attached to the said lands. And then B, an order of perpetual <coughs> injunction restraining the head of the new Dwekwa family, his heirs, previous, assigns and agents from dealing with anybody, whomsoever, howsoever, and whatsoever, aside the plaintiff in respect of the Nima lands and performance of any customary rights attached to the said lands. As the suit is ongoing, I would like to categorically state that this is the only legal action Alaji Sanifa has initiated against the Ni Odoepa family, and no motion has been moved nor granted for or against either parties as he tries to mislead people to believe. In fact, on 1st August 2024, we presented a letter to the Inspector General of Police in keeping with our constitutional right of assembly under the Public Order Act 491 in order to sprinkle quickly like our culture and family members in Nima demand and in furtherance of our cultural heritage on our ancestral lands. This event, which has taken place in Nima peacefully, in antiquity, and recently, being an affront to, an, to a large fire and his cohorts, who seek to distort facts and prevent an exposure of their illegitimacy, was grossly misrepresented to the Greater Accra Regional Commander of the Ghana Police Service by agents of a large fire. As a law-abiding family that considers the health and welfare of its members, and tenants in Nima as a priority, and with no intention to provide a platform for lawless elements like drug addicts and land guards contracted by a large far, with support from police personnel to disrupt the peace and assault members of our family like they did in 2023, we deferred to lose the battle of this august occasion to win the war, and in furtherance of our intentions to rid our ancestral land Nima of the filth that has so long stifled the growth and prosperity of its people, and the extortionists Alaji Sanifa uses in the Nima market and elsewhere in Nima, we want to notify the general populace, and most importantly, aggrieved residents in Nima, that our family has not turned over this recent infraction on our culture, that our family has not only turned over this recent infraction on our culture to our ancestral defenders through the relevant rights, but we've already begun pursuing a legal effort to bring an end to this cabal at the High Court on the 1st July 2024, with suit number GJ-0832-24, seeking amongst other reliefs a declaration that the purported installation of the defendant being Alaji Sanifa is null and void, as the defendant cannot hold himself as chief of Nima without same being sanctioned by the plaintiff's family. Our family would like to assure the residents of Nima that we hold their interest at heart and are currently working assiduously to rid Nima of the current yoke of lawlessness, extortion and corruption that these elements in collusion with local politicians have relegated our ancestral lands to. Much like our resolve to defend our birthright, the motto remains the same, Ukradi ING. That there is no injunction by any person from Nima or anywhere on the Ni Ubiokwa family not to celebrate Homo War. What we have is that the Malam Amadou Futa family of Nima and headed by Belafa called Ni Futa had filed an injunction at the Land Court 9 in Accra and he filed for an injunction to stop us receiving other families from Nima for their occupation. 
that they, are, they should be the only people that had to come to perform customary rights to us. That is what they They went last year. They were not giving. They went this year too. They were not giving. So all the families and the groups that had to perform the customary rights for us, they came. So their motion will be moved on the 16th of October 2024. So if any of you feel that you want to know the truth, it is at the High Court Complex, Land Court 9. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Land Court 9. So on the 16th of October 2024. So there had not been any injunction whatsoever on the new Bioqua family not to celebrate. This is the case that, day. however, we have challenged his capacity as the chief of NIMA. He doesn't have to hold himself as chief of NIMA. And that one too, our injunction application is at GJ10. GJ10 also at the same place at the High Court. And that case is going to come on on the 15th of October. On the 15th of October 2024. So, Interested ones in Nima and in Usu and elsewhere who wanted to know the truth can come to the court and hear for themselves the first time. And once again, no injunction had been secured anywhere by the Futa family or Chief uh, Nifuta, who claims himself to be Chief of Nima. <coughs> no, he has secured no injunction against the new Bukwa family in any matter. The whole world should know. Thank you very much. So now